This was a park that was deteriorating right under our feet. It was beloved. It was the best place to see a sunset in Buffalo. And oftentimes it was closed. We are literally standing almost at the bullseye of the end of the Lake Erie Seiche here in Buffalo. The, these forces don't get much more powerful than they do right here. This park used to just be destroyed during weather events. The South Park is closed right now and that you can see for a very good reason it is dangerous out here. It was constantly flooding. It was battered. I grew up playing soccer here. And the games were constantly canceled just because of the, the field conditions. We had massive amounts of sinkholes that would just form. The railings kept getting knocked down. Essentially, the shoreline had started to fail. There is a massive transformation of Ralph Wilson Park shoreline. The shoreline work was an essential part of the Ralph Wilson Park vision. The conversation evolved to how we could really accomplish four different things. One, how do we integrate the shoreline into the park for recreation? How do we provide a more flood protected shoreline? How do we make it more resilient to climate change? And ultimately, how do we enhance the habitat? First, they had to excavate behind that seawall. They removed all the old concrete. They reinforced some of the 100-year-old timber underneath the old seawall and then started to build what you see here today, all of those rocks, 4,000 truckloads of rock to be brought in to build that shoreline. It may look like just a collection of rocks dumped in the water, but there is an actual meaning behind this design. We are completely rebuilding what was once a hard cement seawall, just a straight seawall, to a armored natural slope. So that kind of rises out of the water, comes up, elevates the land, and it's where fish and wildlife can build their habitat. The goal was to also reinvigorate and rehabilitate the habitat that once existed here. So we've created and uh, designed some natural aspects to it. So we have emergent and submergent aquatic vegetation that's going to be present here in the inlet. This inlet was designed as a way to help dissipate the energy that comes off of Lake Erie and hits the shoreline. Not only is it breaking up that energy and preventing further damage and erosion from happening, it is also creating beautiful habitat for subaquatic species, emergent vegetation, and the fish and wildlife that call this place home. The newly created wetland ecosystem will directly contribute to addressing the historic loss of fish and wildlife habitat in the Niagara River. It will also serve as a critical coastal resiliency function for the Western New York region. We know that life thrives where water meets the land. That's very true in, in the natural world, and it's also true for human society. The shoreline areas are some of the most productive areas for life in the natural world and it's the area where people themselves want to recreate. Simply walking along the shoreline and throwing a line in to go fishing, paddling. The new shoreline is just gonna be so much more interactive. It's gonna bring you closer to the water. The purpose and the design of this project is to encourage both public use and enjoyment of the waterfront as well as the ecological function. we would not have been able to do this alone. Buffalo Niagara Waterkeeper has been shepherding this project for decades and they helped Ralph Wilson Park bring all these other partners to the table. The Army Corps of Engineers, New York State DEC, Empire State Development Corporation, NOAA, EPA, the Ralph Wilson Foundation, the city of Buffalo. It takes collaboration and it takes creativity. When all the partners and the community work together, we can get it done and I think that's being proven here. The Great Lakes Commission, including NOAA and the DEC, are funding a major part of our shoreline transformation. That is an investment in making sure that this park lasts for generations. What you're gonna see is just a, is a different and more resilient, stronger park. I really can't wait till we can get people here to enjoy it.